Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the Steel segment here at Trimble. And today I want to introduce some new features that are available in Tecla Structures version 2019. So the first thing that we'll start with is this drop down under construction object. You can see that we've added in three new options here. We've also consolidated our construction circle. So let's go ahead and begin with that. As I activate the command, you can see this new contextual toolbar that will show up. And I can insert a construction circle just clicking the center point and then defining the radius as I've done before. Or I can come in and I can define the circle using three points. So let's just go ahead and just real quick put one in here. If I want, I can come in and use the dimensions on screen to insert my construction circle, or I can just start typing on my keyboard. Let's say that I want to make this nine feet. And now before it inserts the circle into the model, it gives me the option to define the plane. So I'm just going to leave this one on the XY plane. But if I rotate around this model and I insert another one, and then I come up and click this point right here, I'm able to define the plane that this construction circle is inserted on. So giving me more flexibility to get the construction objects in the correct location there within the model. As I've been able to before, if I have my direct modification turned on and if I want to modify or change anything about this, I can just begin clicking and dragging or clicking on the value here and just typing in the dimensions and it will modify that object for me within the model. You'll also notice now that the properties are all controlled over here in the property pane. So I can control the color of the objects here within the model as I've been able to before. But now I also have the ability to come in and modify the line type. So if I want to make a change there, I can just click on modify and I can see that adjust there in the model. So let's go ahead and go to the plan view and let's take a look at this next feature. If I hit the drop down here, we have this arc option. And then you can see the contextual toolbar that will show up. I have the ability to create an arc by center and endpoints, or I can create an arc by three points, or I can create an arc using the tangent option. So let's go ahead and see how this works. I'll just snap to the center of the grid here, and then I'll define my start point. And now as I move my mouse, you can begin to see the dimensional values there on screen. So I can see the angle that's there, and then also the length of the arc. As soon as I click, it will insert the arc there into the model. And then if I select this again, I can begin to modify these properties. So if I want to click and drag and adjust the radius, I can do that. If I want to come in here and click on the dimensional value, I can key that there into the model. If I highlight it, I can change these properties here through the property pane if I want to change the color or the line type. And then I can click and drag these end handles and it will continue around that radius that I've defined and update the angular dimension. So there I can modify that as needed. So in previous versions, if you wanted an arc, there wasn't that option. So you would have to model in an entire construction circle. Now with this new arc option, you can just insert whatever you need there into the model and use it as a modeling aid as required. So let's take a look at the next feature here called the poly curve. This combines straight lines and the ability to model in arcs into one poly curve. So I'll go ahead and activate that command and we'll come over here to this location. Again, you can see the contextual toolbar where I can create a line. I can create an arc by three points or here again, I have that tangent option. So let's just go ahead and just start picking some points here. And again, I can pick them in the model. I can key in values as I go. And with this command still active, I can come over here and I can change my modeling method. So here, let's go ahead and choose that tangent option. And now I can see that as I click and drag, it's gonna put in a arc that's tangent to that location that we were just working with. So I can just click there with the command still active. And again, it's gonna come in and put in another arc. I can just click. And then as soon as I hit the middle mouse button, that's what's inserted there for me into the model. You'll notice now with these new construction objects, as I hover over them, I can see this little arc symbol. If I have a straight line and I want to turn that into an arc, I can just click and drag. Let's go ahead and expand this here. Or if I don't want that, I can just highlight it, click on delete, and now it's a straight line. So again, as I highlight these, you can see all of the different symbols there that I'm able to modify on the fly as needed. So now that that's modeled in, we can take a look at this last option here, this copy with offset. This works with any construction object. We'll show how this works on the poly curve. So what this will allow me to do is to come in and define an offset value. So I'll just put in 24 inches here. And then I'll click the object that I want to copy. 
And now if I rotate around my model, I can just hover my mouse over and it will copy it in the direction that I want. So if I wanted to copy this uh, down, for example, then I can just click there. And now it's made a copy 24 inches down from where the original one was. If I go back to a plan view, I can add in multiple values into this dialog box. So let's say that I want to create three copies equally spaced at a foot and then I want one more at six inches. I can just go ahead and type that in, click the object that I want to copy, and then I can just hover in the direction that I want it to copy with the offset. So again, if I wanted to repeat that, then I can just copy that, and it's just duplicating that information there. I'll spin that around so we can see that there. So some great improvements to our construction objects to give you some modeling aids there within the model. So the next thing that I want to take a look at are the improvements that we've made to our grids. If I come in and double click on the grids here, instead of a property dialog box showing up, you can see that this is all controlled here within the property pane. So I can make any changes just like I would before, hit modify, and it will update that there for me in the model. The new option that we've added in version 2019 is this create radial grid. So if I go ahead and activate that command, you can see it'll give me a preview there within the model. I can control the properties over here in the property pane. So let's just offset this over here so it's a little more out of the way. So as soon as that's inserted, with my direct modification on, I can continue to modify this as required. So if I want to come in and remove one of these grid lines, I can just highlight it and hit delete. And that will automatically update the dialog here. If I want to adjust the angle, I can just begin clicking and dragging just like we were with the arc. So if I want to modify that to 27 degrees, it will then make the change here within my dialog box that I can save and reuse. If I want to modify the radius here, I can begin clicking and dragging. I can also just start typing in. So let's say we want to change this to 70 feet. I can just key that in. It will then make the change there for me within the model. If I zoom in here real close, you can see in between these grid lines, there's a plus symbol. As I hover over that, it will illuminate a new line where if I click that plus sign, it will insert that. So I'll just go ahead and click that. We can add in a few more. And again, we can click and drag and space these wherever they need. If I come in and switch to highlight just the single grid lines there, then I can come in and I can modify this information on an individual basis. So if I want to change the label, I can do that from the property pane. I also have the option to come in and do that directly here from the contextual toolbar. So I can modify that. I also have the ability to control the line extensions as well, either from the property pane or from the contextual toolbar. So the other thing that we can also do with this is we can control the color of the grid. So if I want to come in and change this, for example, to be a reddish color, I can just hit modify. It will make that change in the model. I also have the ability to control the text as well. So if I want to change that to blue, then I can do that. Or I can put in the RGB values to get the exact color that I want. So in version 2019, we've added in several new options to make it easier to handle curves, whether you're modeling construction objects using the arcs or poly curves, or if you need to put in a radial grid for your project, these are some great modeling aids to help speed up your efficiency and improve your workflows. So as always, we invite you to try these out, send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development.